Hello, my name is Sean McDermott and I'm the head teacher here at Rowland Hill Nursery School and Children's Centre. Today I'm going to go through the welcome workshop that we did in person last week. So we're doing a recording today for families who were unable to join us. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. So here's my presentation. So in the senior leadership team at Roland Hill is myself, Sean McDermott, Bernadette Alexu, who's the assistant head teacher, and Tony Wheeler, who is the children's centre manager. We also have a school business manager, Helen Goldman, who works with us half of the week. So she's here with us Monday and Tuesday and Friday afternoons. We're always around on the gate, so do come and say hello. Roland Hill has been in the local community since 1942. And when you come to Roland Hill, you'll notice that you've joined the family. Many of our staff came here with their children or actually came here as a child. So when you come to Roland Hill, you very much have joined the family here. We use the Early Years Foundation stage to teach. At Roland Hill, we were inspected in July 2019, and then we were re-inspected in September this year. We are currently waiting for the report, but it was a very positive experience for staff, and therefore we're really excited about sharing it with families. What's really important to us at Rowland Hill is the positive relationships that we have with children and their families. We respect children, we del actually delight in their company. And if you talk to any of the staff here, it's their most favorite thing to do is to talk about you and your children and what your child has been doing all day. So do feel free to come and talk to us. If you want to have a long conversation, make an appointment to speak to your child's key person at the end of the session, or give us a call if you need to talk to them. And what you'll find with our staff, and I'm sure many of you've done that during the settling period is, um, we really listen to the children and uh, that they genuinely interact with the children and listen to what they've got to say. Sometimes they're, they're very funny. They, they'll say things like, oh, I've got pink socks on today. And you will see the staff get down and listen to them uh, at their level and chat with them. We teach in the moment. Um, so we join in with the children's play and play with them and help to scaffold their learning while they're playing. And what we really, really do is help the children relish in all the lovely learning experiences that happen every day in Roland Hill. We're always here to talk. So if you've got any concerns, do pop and see this, the child's key person. Um, if they're not around, then as I said, the senior leadership team are always around to talk to you. But what we really find, what we feel is really important in Roland Hill is those positive relationships we have with families. So when it, what, what we hold very dear at Rowling Hill is um, the way we teach and the type of learner that develops in their time here, whether, they're, they're, whether children are here with us for a year, two years, or even three years. But what, essentially what we want the children to do is to be really confident, to manage their feelings and develop their vocabulary so that they can uh, express when they're happy, when they're sad, when they like something, um, if they're upset if they're really excited about something. So you'll see the staff team here spending lots of time talking to the children and developing their vocabulary. We teach them to be creative and imaginative and we do that through our enabling environment. We want the children to be curious about the world that they're growing up in. And the curriculum here at Rowland Hill is very much tailored to what's it like to be a child growing up in North London in Tottenham today. And we have lots of exp learning experiences throughout the year to support the children's learning. You'll notice in our garden and inside there are lots of opportunities for children to play, be curious, solve problems. And what we really want to do is develop their really their passion for lifelong learning, those attitudes and dispositions that make them thirsty for skills and knowledge. Now, what will happen is probably your, your child may come home and you'll say, what have you done today? And they'll say, well, I've just played. And that's brilliant because that's exactly what we want your child to do is play and enjoy their time at Rowland Hill. But just as this photograph illustrates here, 
they may think they're just playing in the sandpit actually, but they're learning to be young scientists, early engineers, early surveyors, architects, and making friends and becoming a team player. We have lots of hands-on experiences, and that's really important because children under five learn mainly through their senses. And so we ensure that they have lots of opportunities to learn through those senses. For example, the children here are making mud pies. Now, you can't talk about mud pies. You can't write about mud pies unless you've experienced mud. You understand how it's thick and oozy and sloppy. And so we use lots of opportunities outside to teach the children through their senses and inside as well. We help the children to build their confidence and their independence and their communication skills. From as soon as children start with us, from around two years old, they're expected to put their own coat on their peg. They're expected to collect their own coat. We support them to go to the toilet and learn to use the toilet, to put their coat on independently, to select toys that they want to play with during the day. And then there is the expectation that they also put them away. As I said earlier, lots of opportunities to learn through their senses and children will get messy with us. <laughs> and if your child does come home with things on their clothes, please be assured that they've had a fantastic day, done lots of learning and uh, they've had lots of fun while they're doing it. Please don't send your children to school in clothes that are their best clothes and make sure that you put your name on their name on the label. We give children opportunities to use real equipment, which they really enjoy. So the children do do process cooking once a week. They also, as soon as they are three, they also get to use woodwork table. These are all highly supervised and are risk assessed. What's really important to us is that children learn to make friends with other children. They're able to express their feelings. They can make relationships, have lots of opportunities to pretend while they're playing opportunities to problem solve. You see the children here are mixing colours on the light box. We have children who are taking rain off the roof to water plants and play with water. So lots of opportunities to develop personal, social and emotional skills. However, we also ensure that children understand that they have rights and with those rights they also have responsibilities. We provide lots of time and space and freedom for children to follow their ideas. You'll also notice across the school, there are lots of open-ended resources that give children opportunities to make things into other things. In the middle of the day, you will always see the blocks out in our garden where children make buses and cars and trains and houses. And these things are so important for their development. As I said earlier, children have rights and we have responsibilities. So we feel that children have the right to celebrate their heritage, their culture and their family. They have the responsibility in school to listen and try their hardest at all times. And we help them to develop those skills. They have the responsibility to look after each other and the school learning environment. And they have the right to be heard. And we truly do listen to the children at Roland Hill and to take risks in their learning. A few things we ask you, that if your child is unwell or unable to come to school, please call the school and let us know. If you're running late, which does happen from time to half time, give us a call and just let us know what time you'll be in, especially if they're here all day with us because we need to order a lunch. And just to remind you really, the, gate, the school gate opens at 8.30 and 12.30. So please make sure that you're here on time and the gates open for about five minutes. After that, your child will be late for school. Equally, please make sure you collect them on time as well. Um, sometimes it's a little unsettling for children if other children are going home and their parent hasn't or carer hasn't arrived yet. 
We ask you not to use your mobile phone when in school. We do have a small cafe area that you can text or surf the internet on if you're here settling your child or waiting for a short period of time. Um, but apart from that, we ask you not to use your phone on site. And it's really important that when you collect your child, that you're, you say, hi, what have you done today? So they can tell you about it and perhaps not take a phone call in that moment or answer a text. So a few things that we ask you to bring to school and um, some wellies with your child's name and some spare clothes that we can leave on their peg in case they have an accident or get really, really messy. Um, you, we ask you to dress your child for the weather. So in the summer months, suntan lotion, floppy hat um, and some light clothes with long sleeves. Um, and in the winter months, a coat a hat and some gloves, not a scarf because of the amount of climbing children do. Uh, we ask you not to put scarves on your child. We make sure their coats are done right up to the top to keep them warm. And just a few pieces of fruit each week that they can share together. So your child will have a book and we ask you to read with, their with your child for five to 10 minutes each night. And your child's book will be changed once a week. So we, when children join us, we assess their, where they are in terms of their learning. We do a baseline assessment. We observe what they can do, what, um, what they need extra help with, and then we plan for their learning each day. We share the children's learning through our online system called Tapestry, and you should have had a, an online uh, login for this. We also track the children's learning all through the year. And if we're concerned about any child's learning, we will speak to you in the first instance. So if you haven't already received a login for Tapestry, please come into the main office and we'll make sure that that's done straight away. If you've got any problems with it, do pop in and see us and we'll show you what to do. We have a Keep Learning newsletter that comes out once every two to three weeks. We also have a school YouTube channel where you'll be able to access lots of wonderful resources to support your child's learning. And please look at our website. It's a wealth of ideas to help your child at home. We have a parents forum once a half term, so do drop into it. Sometimes we use it to ask you for feedback. Other times we ask you to help us plan events for families during the school year. If you've got a skill or a talent, we'd love to, to know about it. If you um, play a musical instrument, if you can sew, whether you knit, all these skills are things that we would love to, you to share with the children to enrich their learning here at Rowland Hill. We have a children's centre on site. So please have a look at the timetable. It's on our website and it's open to all families under five. So we, we are always asking for feedback. There's lots of opportunities to get involved in school life. As I said earlier, we have a parents forum, we have a governing body and they hold myself and the senior leadership to account to ensure that the school is constantly moving in the right direction and, and continuing to grow and develop. If you've got any concerns or worries or want to celebrate anything, the fir your first port of call really is uh, your child's key person. Then following that, uh, one of the senior leaders. We're all, one of us is all, or two of us are often on the gate. Uh, last thing I want to say really before finishing the workshop is um, childhood is a very special time and we ask families to just enjoy this moment you have with your child. And uh, if you have any concerns, worries, or things that you want to celebrate with us, please, please come and talk to us. So that's the end of the presentation. Please do follow us on Facebook or on Twitter where there's lots of information. We've also included the website, The Foundation Years, that has got lots of information about children under five and, and their development. Um, and if you have any questions, queries, or um, you just want to have a chat with us, please email the school in the address below. Thank you for listening today. Goodbye.